She wanted to take a nap. <laughs> so yeah, we are broadcasting right here from beautiful Denver, Colorado, getting to be fall. The autumn equinox is upon us. <laughs> equal day and equal night. It's all downhill until December. Those dark, dark afternoons are coming. So, anyway, I hope you've had a good week so far. We're getting over the hump. We're going to be playing some Red Dead. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in this Red Dead, I'm playing single player. Because the single player story is so good. It's fun. I like it. Enjoy it. So, but this time around, Arthur is being a bastard. He's a crusty old cur. Well, well, with he's only looking out for himself, he eats everyone, everything. So, if you have any suggestions on how I can be more of a bastard, Arthur, <laughs> make him the worst scumbag we can make him. Just pop it in the chat. <laughs> <coughs> Colorado, man, or that I've never gotten used to in the last nine years. That's how dry it is. Never. My throat, everything is always dry. Always. So, yeah. Let's uh, start up some Red Dead. Daylight's burning, daylight's already gone. Let's go to the gaming grid. Uh, we are doing the story of a man named Arthur who was bringing up himself in an awful way. He got fat and he got bearded and he shot some squirrels. Cows. That reminds me of Throw Mama from the Train, Danny DeVito, Billy Crystal are driving and they're talking about the murder, how they would do it, and Danny DeVito just out of nowhere says, ah, cows, <laughs> at the billboard. It's such a random scene, but it's so good. It's so out of the blue. All right. So, Arthur, <coughs> he is a bastard already. Let me go. <laughs> oh, you think you can run off on me? Here. Come on, lift me down. So we 
got here. Get me down off here, please. No. I'm coming, don't worry. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I do have a bastard. Cut the ropes, please. You're gonna die a lover's death. <coughs> Come on, cut the damn rope. How did I maintain it? I know it's showing the middle mouse button, but when I press the middle mouse, it doesn't do anything. I can't find where to bind it. I know I did it before, just by pressing buttons up here. Oh! Well, good now, Quit now, oh. come on! There we go. Good night. Put okay, boy. Hey, Arthur is a bastard. Sorry. It's not for the lay art. He is a uh, crusty codger. Don't, don't tangle with him. Don't ask him for help. Hey, move! Arthur is out for Arthur. And only Arthur. Just remember that. Yeah. I am far from camp. Where do we have to go? I know we got a mission. <laughs> the one thing Arthur does care about is his horse. What trouble is in here, Dom? Not so much other horses. His horse. He doesn't shower. The only time he gets wet is if it rains. Or if he has to go into the water. For whatever reason. But other than that, he's a stinky, stinky person. Shave. Uh, we need to go to camp. Too much law here. I already have a kind of a bad rep. Uh oh, I see smoke. And where there's smoke, there's money. Start something, okay. Let's start something, little boy. Come on. 
Are you one-handed? Yeah. Loot this place, Arthur. Loot it. I have a what is this? case of the shrew in the fog. How the hell did we lose that son of a bitch? Did you think he might have went indoors? Ooh, money clip. Thank you. I always like jewelry. Thank you. Ooh, platinum chain necklace. That'll sell pretty penny. Not giving it to camp. That's the other thing. Arthur doesn't contribute his share at all. If he can keep it, he keeps it. Ooh, potent miracle time. Oh, more jewelry. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shit. Put a bullet in that Caught in the middle of robbing the place. Let's see what you got. Anything good? 56 cents. Man, oh, okay. That ring. Alright, that was a that's a good stop, actually. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, boy. Let's go. Should be mine. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in this beauty world. Beautiful day for a beauty world. I could yep. I. I have always wanted to have a friend just like you. Definitely could be older. Oh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell are you doing here? Stop by, I mean no harm. Get the hell away from here. Well, you, you pull a weapon on me already? Shoot your legs off, boy. I was not gonna threaten him. Hey, well I guess pull it up with a gun pulled is not a good move but see what you got on silver pocket watch Arthur will kill a man for just for his hat okay that's how bad person he is he's like I could I have enough money to buy that ad but he's like ah I'll kill a mother if I like their hat Listen, I, I played, the first time I played this, when it first came out, I played it on a straight and narrow, man. Yeah. I, Arthur was a good guy. And then I didn't play single player after I beat it. So I never got to see how it is when Arthur is just a plain old bastard. as he could be the first go-around. Yeah. 
Yeah, dark. shooting. Yeah. Somebody's drawing attention to themselves. Hey, see there. There's a shot. Oh hell, someone shot ah! Whoa. Ah! Oh, 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 oh shit, I'm getting killed. It's a raider. I need to drop my hat. Ah! Slow down my speed here, that's why. I'm all bald. Snap a buck. Battlefield. Give me your money. A buck fifty three. I'll take it. Oh, at a rig. Thank you, sir. What do you got? What do you got? You're the one who made me drop my hat. Gold plate belt buckle. I'll take that. Give me my hat. Hmm. All right. Fortina, come. <coughs> <coughs> Bardeen. Yeah. Uh oh, the Lemoyne Raiders are gonna show up, or it's the Bounty Hunters, one of the two. I better figure out how to clean my guns right quick. Yeah, it's Fartina. Feast on no cake. Made with love. Yeah, boy, you like those. Hitchhiker? That's no, illegal here. Hey, partner? Hey, wait a second. What's your reason, huh? Alright, I'm gonna have to ask you to get down off. Oh, oh, shit. God damn it. Oh. In the peace. Fartina, come. We're almost to camp. All right, boy. 
We're wanted for disturbing the peace. Number. Where you take me? Oh boy. Don't I can't where I can't. Hi, Pupper. It's not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. You are! Complain, complain, complain! I ain't complaining, I'm just saying. This is a really beautiful saying, game. Miss, you're Hello, sure. You're busy, Arthur. No. I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yeah. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come What out. is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Good catch, puppy. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy hey. goddamn fishwife. <laughs> no, <laughs> both of you. Well, come with me then. Fighting words. You want to head out there? Run with the man. Run with the man. So be it. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. <coughs> Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Oh, shit. Sorry for teasing. Not paying you attention. I have a dog dropping the ball in my lap yes. every two seconds. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. Scullions. We all gotta do our share. We are sense. not going on the oh, trip. Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. Boring. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, yaddy, but yaddy, I can yaddy. assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere too new, quickly. Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I You're thought insane, he was woman. outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there. You're so two-faced, Arthur. No guns. 
You sure? We're up to me. We go in guns blazing, lady. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Oh, Arthur. You maniac. You maniac, Arthur. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. For those who know which way the stick floats. Mm-hmm. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move. Oh. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry. About what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there. Hey. What uh? What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, really? Oh, a toll, I huh? don't think so. You don't think so? No. How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No. Go, go, go! God damn it! Get me down! Oh, oh. that shit! Oh. <laughs> Think you're landing rickets? Oh, shut up! I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down! Oh, baby! Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish!
More platinum. More platinum. <clears throat> platinum Raiders. those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yeah. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But, maybe not. Hey, watch it! So who did they say they were? <coughs> Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Arthur! Holy Jack. That's a hell of a shock of hair you got there, kid. Just shut it. <laughs> hey, Mr. Fancy Pants from Mexico. Here we go. You've stopped paying into the box. My best sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Thank you. Go away. Just who do you Arthur could afford it. <laughs> He's got a, a, a cool grand on him. <laughs> Nobody knows about. How you doing, old friend? <laughs> It's funny, us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. What's the matter, Arthur? Ah. <laughs> Come on, let's get 
out of here for a bit. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, old Scotch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting. Gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Fishing. Passing you. Go on. Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low money. profile, That'll especially in the local town. Oh. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich Simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but... Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Easy. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we, can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Huh. What did I tell you? Come on, hurry! I told you, no shooting! Faster, come on! What 
What's your name, sir? So what do these fellas want it for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, oh, yeah, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Low. Torture two fellas to within an inch of their lives. We've been after them for five years or more now. Oh, Lord, I've locked the darn wagon. He'll blame it on me for sure. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Look at you two fellas all curled up. <laughs> you <laughs> idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yeah. Hurry. Get alongside it. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, damn you. That's enough. Uh, damn it. Uh. Run. Don't let them get away. Running ain't gonna help. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. <clears throat> Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the truck. Load. <laughs> hey, what are you playing? Matt. <laughs> oh, really? I wanted to drag him into town. Just go now, please. He'll wake if you don't get a move on. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. 
My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, we just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Easy. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in well, a Well, sooner I can ride to the damn sheriff office. Dude. Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about <laughs> my friend here. Shitting. Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more <laughs> trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. Caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and the Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out. Rebel gold, marrying cousins, not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. <laughs> Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. I got some banking to do. Fence here. Oh, it's, oh, it's in the online version. I've already caused trouble here.
for my shit. Oh, I know, honey. Pay with my body and my mind. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Brushes and medicine in the corner over there. If you're the sort who needs that kind of thing. Oh my god. Drop my hat. Oh, oh, dear. I'm looking for Gavin. My best friend. What my hat? I lost it. I mean, I lost it. Someone must have seen an English first. What exactly is your problem? Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. The English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad.
what you want. This here the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help him. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region. I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Yeah, 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 Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping I guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place is there what are you doing here I was just looking for work well looking for something <clears throat> Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? <laughs> Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you. Don't lie, Arthur. Love who? Penelope. You want to kill it's everyone. Possible. Love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. <coughs> Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in Such gang poetry. feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves <laughs> to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this <laughs> bracelet. Please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. into this. Nothing I can do. Trample your props.
move quietly, my ass. How many gazebos they need? You don't have to sneak around. Just run. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? And they don't care. Uh, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but... Also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. Eva. If you see Bo again, will you give oh, this geez. to him? Oh, jeez, come on. Sure. Damn it, Arthur. I learned in Red Dead Online, just, you know, just go, don't take the roads. <laughs> take forever to get around. Just go in a straight line. Come on! Official business for the family. All right, come on. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Oh, come Here, on. take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. 
My God. What a woman. <laughs> She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin <laughs> Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. <laughs> Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Oh, now what? Now what? Follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Yeah, we'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> Shall All right, we? ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure oh. one. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Oh. We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Sing songs of freedom and glory be. Springboard into action there. Now you're gonna stand on the desk. <laughs> Can I help you? Can I help you? There's nothing up here for you. Nothing. <laughs> I... I realize you need all the attention <laughs> that I can possibly muster. You are not a cat. <coughs> Hello. There's nothing up here that is for you. Nothing. Nada. 
Now you gotta turn yourself around without falling off. There you go. Don't step on the keyboard. <laughs> no, don't need those. Don't need those. Um. Shadow wants to be on camera. can I help you with? You're going to jump on my groin. Or are you just going to try to clear the whole thing? Nope, you're going back the other direction, I see. That is the microphone. She's just looking all around like... She's like, I've never seen what the air looks like up at this height. She's been doing this the last couple of days, jumping right up on my lap and getting on the desk. Because I'm not paying all the attention to you, am I? I'm not paying all the attention. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, big yawn. Big yawn for a small pup do. Yeah. Oh, another big yard. What are you going to do? You're so tired. You're so, so tired. Sleepy puppy. You're a sleepy and puppy. Yeah, she is only... What is it? Well, it's September. So she's only a year and three months. A year. She'll be a year and four months in October. So she has the curiosity of a puppy and the listening skills of a puppy. Oh. Get down. Oh. <laughs> but you don't weigh like you do when you were a puppy, a smaller puppy. You're a 40 pound sack of bricks standing directly on my chest. Yeah. And my stomach. No. <laughs> now you're getting back on the desk. The shadow. You don't even sleep with me anyway. You don't even... Lick the microphone. Lick the microphone. Hi, baby. 
Ah, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Do you have something to say, Shadow? Is there something you would like to get off your your chest as well? No. You just want to sniff everything that's on the desk. Hmm. I'm getting tired here. I want to see how, how this mission ends. Can I do that? Can I please do that? Or no? No. What are you doing? You can't go inside the computer. That is glass. She sees the blinking lights and wants to paw at them. I'm covering myself because you're going to jump directly on my groin. And that's not going to feel good. 40 pounds of dog meat on my crotch is not there you go good girl thank you for thank you for watching your step i appreciate that you you can't you you went down gently that was very nice of you it was very nice round and round oh my well, that was a fun break. That's my doggy, doggy dog. That is a candle. You will burn your schnoz on that. I wouldn't recommend doing that. That's hot. Sure, you guess I. Uh, she's not used to the candle. Being over here. Boy, come join with me. Yeah. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Don't trample anyone. It's not that kind of demonstration. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You damn assault! Hey, Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. 
a little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Hell is going on! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equal. Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Hey, oh. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology, sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a cucky little... Bo, not we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All of us. And I'm sorry, friend. But <laughs> let the women the speak. Future. Aren't you a, a gray anymore? Huh? A land. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. I made a whole 50 bucks for my time. Uh, 
uh, we're gonna go in anyway. tracks now you don't like visitors huh Busy, Arthur? None of them women got the clap. None of you got lynched yet. Ain't none of you got married, neither. Why don't you sit a while? The way I see it, ain't no good in worrying about what may be. Worrying you're always about bumping into what someone. You got and ain't got my food. lord, you you're a mess. Don't you start. Just like my daddy told me. It's his son. I remember when you were Duchess number one, Miss Grimshaw. Oh, don't start this nonsense. Now you're a number I can't even count up to. When are you going to learn to shut up? <laughs> Look, if you can't take it, don't give it out. It's best to ignore you when you're like this. What are you doing? You're a waste of space. What are you talking about now? Oh, my honor is getting almost bottomed out. <laughs> I'm not playing the games. You gonna get out there and make some money? Keep this up. You'll see. about a house could be interesting what kind of a house I don't know a couple fellas I heard in town they said said it was really freakish a family local boogeyman I guess but they're crooked in every way so well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash 
They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. Well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine's. I gotta go all the way up towards the island. Are you kidding me? Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Over here. You're lucky you're cute. How are you not waiting? Hi. And you are trampling everything on the desk.
not moving, are you? That's happening. <clears throat> well, do you want to invade this home with me? Huh? You want to do some home invasion? You want to do a little home invasion? <laughs> Is that a yes? Is that a yes to home invasion? She's ready for a home invasion. <laughs> You're so pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. Let's have all the attention. She's falling asleep. All you want her to do is find a place to fall asleep. Hmm? Well, it's become the uh, Shadows Cove. <laughs> See, she watches the stream and she gets put to sleep. Like, instantly. a plopper. <laughs> oh, I see what she was doing. She was what you were watching all the stars on the wall. Maybe she was got hypnotized by them. She got like one eye open. She's warm. You are warm. You are nice and warm. Oh, all right, people. Well, sigh of relief or a sigh of relaxation because you are like in me like you're putting all your weight into me right now and the keyboard is all the way over there <laughs>
place, right? You got your binoculars? You got your binoculars with you, don't you? See if you could spot anyone. We shouldn't go in blind, Arthur. Yeah, we should. Damn it. All right, let's just get down there and take a closer look. <laughs> Submit. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey! Keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Stay low, Arthur. Maybe use hunter pig this Just stay quiet. Don't score notions in the dippy Plymouth's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can hardly get all the now day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Yo, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. By the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump him, okay? You'll see. What are you doing? Get down! Heck. What the hickory happened here? We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey! I, uh, what the hickory? Now, Let's take them out quick. The rest will be on their way. Good job, 
about defending that barn, let's check in there first. Well, that's something over here. Give me all your brain. We didn't come all this way for nothing. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Yeah, I want to accelerate the growth of my hairs. Hmm, that seems to be it. Okay, boy. 
There we go. F. Okay, F does it. I knew I uh, had it somewhere. Clear my weapons, buddy. That one needs cleaning. For sure. There we go. That's nice and sparkly. Howdy. These days ain't short. You sure, should. I didn't know I'd kill his horse. No. Damn, that's gorgeous.
killed my horse. <laughs> That'll help you. No. Come on. here to cause trouble. Help a blind man. <laughs> that was terrible. <clears throat> that was terrible. That was pretty scummy, Arthur. You want to open Driscoll's to make you their business. Clear out. We stone cold killers. We ain't gonna warn you again. Get it. We're the meanest soybeans out there. in his head. Let's 
same chest loot. to the fence and fence their stuff and then I'm gonna call it a night. Buffalo seen that dog do that in this game dog ripped my freaking throat out good boy
You're back. All right, take a look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Nice, that gold bar. Very nice. Shame to part with it, I bet. Okay, I'll take another. It's worth buying. I'll buy it. Oh, yes. People lose these all the time. Arthur's got a pretty penny. Real good doing business with you. Anything for sale? Done. Take all your peas. And your gun oil. Mmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Keep this just between us now. Oh, boy. Rotten sheep. Ew. Can I sell it? No. Let's move. Yeah. 
Oopsie doodles. My horse is a freight train. Five dollars and forty cents. <laughs> hey, Arthur. I'm hungry, Mama. We're all hungry, son. Just try reading. Later, Mr. Morgan. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Folks is wondering what's happened to you. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right. That's the point. That's the point. Work, Mr. Morgan. Folk need feeding. I never took you for the lazy type. Guess it ain't no use talking about stuff will never happen. So you know what? I need a better camp for myself. <coughs> Where's the ledger? There it is. You okay, Arthur? Charles put in some money. Yeah, I bought tools. can suffer if I'm gonna have to suffer. That is my camp isn't so bad. The hell is Mike is uh oh, five finger fillet now. What time is it? Three o'clock. He does wear nice boots. Expect.
folks but I thank you for watching and uh, hanging out and uh, yeah I'll maybe be back tomorrow for some more we shall see if time permits and uh, take it from there you all have a good evening. Sleep well. <laughs> Be safe out there, and I will catch you later if you like what you hear and like what you see. Come on back for some more. Have a good night. Peace out.